Hey guys, welcome to Brian's Raj. Uh, I want to talk to you about flushing your AC system in your old school vehicle in preparation for a conversion from R12 to 134. And so how do we do this? Well, first off, you don't have to use any special uh, flushing solvent. You just use acetone, man. You can get this anywhere, right? But you will need one of these things. And this is a uh, master cool it's a cylinder. It's just an aluminum cylinder. And uh, you fill it up about, yeah, maybe like that much, right? And then uh, Schrader valve on the top. Uh, use your air compressor to put 90 to 125 psi in there, and then you just put this up against the ports on your evaporator condenser and blow through it. Right? And you're gonna do this with the, your evaporator condenser and any hard lines, but you will not do this with your rubber lines, especially if they got a muffler. You don't want to mess with that muffler. Instead, I recommend replacing the old rubber hoses with modern barrier hose assemblies. And you can get these for most vehicles. If you can't, then certain places can uh, rebuild your old hoses with barrier hoses. And I think uh, classic or original auto air is capable of doing that. Um, anyway, uh, the evaporator I found had a lot of oil in the bottom of it. So I ended up flushing it from both the input, inlet and the outlet. So I went forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Uh, to get all that stuff out of there. I actually found a lot of black uh, debris after I got the oil out, then it started coming out black. First came out kind of green, then later it was black, and that's because apparently we had a compressor failure at some point in the life of this vehicle, and that had built up in the evaporator, which I was surprised at because the evaporator is not the lowest point of the vehicle, but it is the point <laughs> during my flushing that I found the most oil and debris. So. Uh, on these old 1967 to 72 trucks, make sure you flush that evaporator very well and you might want to do it from both sides. Like I said, I did four times, so uh, that's how that worked out. The condenser only had to flush it once. It came out nice and clean, no problem. Uh, so that's it, guys. That's how you flush them out. You gotta do that. If you don't do it, the, uh, the mineral oil that is used for R12 is not compatible with 134 and it will prevent the 134 from picking up uh, ester or PAG oil, yeah, that's what you got to use with uh, 134, and the gas actually carries the oil around through the system and through the uh, compressor pistons. So if it's not carrying the oil, then your your uh, pistons are going to go dry and your your uh, compressor will seize and fail. So make sure you get all that old mineral oil out of there before you convert it to 134. I see a lot of guys just slapping the fittings on there and they don't do anything else with the system and that's going to cause black death and that black death is what I was talking about it's compressor failure and then the aluminum fragments turn black when they wear and then they collect down in the evaporator so anyway there you go guys good luck with it we'll talk at you later